Hey, good morning. I am Kalua and I am sitting out here on my front porch with the rain making the beautiful soft noise and uh, just enjoying a Saturday morning. I'm about to get on a virtual tea party with some ladies and have some insight like that and I'm really looking forward to it because it was a bit of a week this week. I think if next week's going to be like this week I might have to get some um, tackle pads <laughs> like a football player. So um, I actually was inspired to come on here and just do a quick little talk today. I don't usually get on here on Saturday mornings, but there's something that I, I have been seeing coming up quite a bit, and usually that's a message to get out there and talk about it. So that's what I'm doing. Um, I'm talking about, are you clear with your clients and customers? And I mention that because there are quite a few examples for me where I have met with somebody like really interested in doing business with them. I wanted what they're selling and went to meet with them about it and I left being more confused. Like I was ready at the beginning and then I got confused while I was with them and then left even more confused and as I thought about it I was like, I don't know if they can help me. I'm not sure if this is a good fit. And I, I, I tell this not with judgment, but with love, because I totally know for sure that I have done this. <laughs> for sure I have done this. And quite honestly, I'm sure there's times I still do it. You know, we, we fall back into old traps. And there's three things, three reasons I see why we do this. One is clarity. We're not clear. Um, you know, we're not clear maybe on who it is we want to work with. We're not clear on what our message is. We're not clear on how we want to serve people, the best thing to say. You know, just all of the muddle that starts to happen is what causes us to maybe talk backwards and in, in different directions and we don't just take somebody on this point A to point B journey so that it's clear for them. Because truly, think about it, you know, you're an expert at what you do. So you have all of this knowledge and you really want to do it in just a few minutes because truly you want to be listening more than you're talking when you're meeting with someone, right? So in just a few minutes, you want to be able to clearly lay out what you do so that somebody can understand it and they want to work with you. That's not an easy thing to do. Hey Rodney, thank you. <laughs> um, the second thing, the second reason I've noticed for this is confidence. And this is a big one, especially when you're in business for yourself. You know, it's way easy to go out and sell somebody else's uh, program or their, you know, whatever they're selling because you didn't price it, you didn't make it, you like it. You really like it. So it's like, you know what, I like this, let me tell you what I love about it. There's no personal investment, but if it's something that you've created, that you've priced, that you've put together, there's a little bit of a personal rejection when somebody says no. It almost feels like they're saying no to you because you've birthed this thing. And we have to separate that. We've got to figure out how to make it about the business and not about us because they are two separate things. And then we get into all the other confidence stuff, you know, the, the usual stuff. Is my program worth it? Is it, you know, is it priced too high? Am, am I worth it? What if, what if they say no? Worse yet, what if they say yes? You know, what if I'm successful? And we fall into all of that mindset stuff, which is number three. So a lot of times our mindset garbage is the biggest thing that gets in the way and it's basically you know consciously we're saying yes I want to have a, su a successful business but subconsciously we're saying 
oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> so a lot of times what we do is we put out these mixed signals like this, like, yes, please, come join me. No, urge, stop. And we send out mixed signals into the world because, you know, we've got these subconscious beliefs that tell me or tell, um, tell us that, you know, again, back to that confidence stuff, maybe we're not worthy of being successful. Maybe we have some subconscious beliefs like, well, nobody's going to buy that. Why would they ever buy that? That's ridiculous. And people could do that on their own. Well, if they could do it on their own, why aren't they? You are needed. You are here for a reason. Your gifts are unique to you, and we need to get them out there. So that's where we need to get rid of all that mindset garbage getting in the way. So three things, clarity, confidence, and mindset. And that is something that actually I'm really excited to help people with. Beginning next week, we are launching our second session of Business Boost. The uh, beta session was a fantastic success. People's income went way up. Their opportunities went way up, which means even more income in the future. And it's just a really great blend of support, accountability, you know, loving encouragement, and that blend of feminine and masculine, right? So we've got our very actionable items, but then we've also got the stuff we're going to do for mindset and getting out of our own way. So... Um, this is going to be happening this coming Friday is the start date. I would love to talk to you if you're interested in joining us because it's going to be a great group and I would love to see you there. This is the perfect time to ramp down the end of the year. That consistency, consistency builds momentum for the end of the year and into the new year. So it's a fabulous time to take this all in and, and get going. So I hope this was beneficial for you. Uh, thank you so much for the comments. Rodney, it's so great to see you here and I'm excited that you are getting closer uh, north this way. We left Florida and up in Georgia now and maybe we'll see you in North Carolina soon. <laughs>